In its continuing examination of the bowling ball, the USBC Equipment Specifications and Certifications team took a closer look at the oil absorption rates of bowling ball cover stocks. Everybody talks oil absorption, but our oil absorption test versus your oil absorption test. You know, let's get one oil absorption test and now we can all communicate on the same terms. Currently, there is no specification for the amount of lane oil cover stocks can absorb. So initially, the team had to determine the best method to test the oil absorption properties of bowling balls. Our first attempt was to take a shell and cut it into little pieces, weigh the pieces and put the pieces in oil, and then every hour take them out and measure the weight gain. And the problem with that test is making all those pieces, destroying the ball every time, it would just not be a time efficient test. So we had a, an accurate device for putting a drop of oil in a ball. And then we put a camera on it, or rather a, a microscope, and let it go, and when the oil was disappeared, you'd back it up and see when the oil drop disappeared, and so it became a time test. Over the last five decades, the evolution of bowling ball cover stocks from polyester to urethane to reactive resin have each represented a significant advancement in the ability of the ball to absorb oil. And many of today's bowling balls are approaching the technical limits on how quickly oil is absorbed by a ball. We've already seen instances of balls that honestly are pushing the instantaneous point on, on our test. You put the drop of oil on the ball, it's almost gone by the time you get to the camera. But first, the team had to devise a standardized oil absorption test in order to begin the data collection process. We originally started out with a microscope that took a picture every 15 seconds. The problem with that was that it took every 15 seconds rather than consistently. So we figured we need a way to videotape it, so we found a DVR system to videotape the drops as they go away. And it got us a lot more consistent and a lot more precise on the times that when, it, when the drop actually is absorbed into the ball. When we measure a ball, the current process is to measure three drops in each color of the bowling ball. So on most balls are three colors. That's nine drops on most balls. Two color balls get six, and a single color ball gets three drops. And that was a result of our measurement system analysis that we essentially ran three, six, and nine drops in each color, and the data said that we don't get any more accurate going from three to nine, so we might as well go with three. Once the new testing procedure was determined, USBC would test more than 500 modern day bowling balls for oil absorption. We've determined that urethane balls don't absorb oil at all. That oil will sit there for days. All reactive balls absorb oil anywhere from two minutes to a couple hours. After the initial testing was completed, USBC shared the data and the standard operating procedure with the major bowling ball manufacturers so they could duplicate the tests. Once we got to the point where we felt we had a good test, we said, let's get the manufacturers in and <clears throat> tell them what we're doing and have them start testing it. The manufacturers then provided a list of questions for further review by the equipment specifications team. By working with them, we, we definitely got the process better by working together. To confirm the validity of the testing process, USBC then consulted with an independent engineering and process expert with top credentials in manufacturing quality assurance, who found that USBC had shown through a scientific and statistical study that oil absorption of a cover stock can be measured with acceptable repeatability and reproducibility. Everything we were trying to do was really, what affects the results and how can we get them more repeatable? And we did a whole year's worth of testing trying to improve our repeatability because we want a good test out of, out of this. The USBC will continue to study oil absorption into the foreseeable future because the lane and how it is oiled is such an important factor in the playing field of the sport. As the process is adopted in manufacturing facilities, more education and data will come to light and USBC will continue to monitor and communicate with all stakeholders about what needs to happen moving forward.